Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create a responsive ASP.NET master page with Bootstrap. Right now, if you notice, I am in a local host. And my task in this video is, I will create a master page using the Bootstrap technology. Later, I will upload the files on GoDaddy remote server. Afterwards, we will test the master page is responsive on all mobile devices, SEO friendly or not. Let's go to Visual Studio ASP.NET project. Now the first task is we will create a master page. Go to Solution Explorer. Right click, add new item. Master page. I'm giving this name as bootstrap master page dot master. I'm unselecting this master page. Add. Now expand this, here is the master page we just created. Now create two content pages. Add new item, web form 1. I am calling this as a page 1. Select master page, add. Choose a master page. In the bootstrap tutorials, this is a master page ok and creating the another content page and I am giving name as page2.aspx select master page checkbox the select master page ok Solution next. Now in the bootstrap tutorials folder, so I got one master page and two content pages. Now in the master page, as I mentioned, master page with bootstrap. So I need the bootstrap theme. For that, get bootstrap.com. Click getting started. Here is a basic template is there. Click on it. This is the HTML code for the bootstrap. Just copy that thing. Paste the code here. Now in the above the default HTML code, copy the body tag, come to bottom here, replace with this new one I'm del and, and I am deleting the default HTML tag. One important thing is here, the content placeholder is ID is content placeholder 2. Here content placeholder 1 in the content page. So make it as make it as 1. Otherwise it will raise an error. So make sure the ID content placeholder is equals to 1. So the content placeholder ID is not in the master page. So delete this thing. And give this name as H1. This is page 1 as well as in page 2 remove that content placeholder id header we we'll give this name as H h1 this is page 2 f6 now we'll check in the browser how it looks This is the output of the page 1.aspx. Let's go to Visual Studio again. Now click the master page. Now the next step is in the master page we need to add the bootstrap CSS and Java files. I already added those files here. If you don't know how to install bootstrap CSS fonts JS files, I made a video on that. You can find in the link on this video. Delete this link and add our 
see bootstrap.min.css here and the JS file also bootstrap.min.js after adding the link and script of bootstraps the next step is we need to create the master page header go here between the header section I am creating the div with class here you notice the intelligence showing all the classes of the bootstrap the reason here I added the bootstrap CSS script so the class contains container div class is page header strong this is header master page now after creating the header tag now it's time to create the footer closing the form tag again create a div class container div class we need is a panel footer panel footer Enter. This is footer. We are just finished the master page header and the footer. Build the project F6. Go to page one dot spx. We will run this project. Now we'll check in the browser how it looks. Here's the output. If you notice, this is the header master page and this is footer both are the from the master pages and the middle one this is page one is from content page now I want to set the two columns of this page I will write a code for the content page go to visual studio.aspx now in the content page one I want to create two columns left side bar and the main page for that create div class I can create a container class container div class two rows I need rows for this container div class is equals to this is side left side bar and do class this is the main content by default the container class has 12 rows but I need only two rows so column medium devices md means medium devices hyphen i want to give four and for the main content call md hyphen eight so eight plus four twelve by default the container class contains 12 rows so we have to mention 4 plus 8 12 f6 let's check in the browser how it looks here is the output this is the left side bar we given 4 4 for the medium and this is the main content I think the left side bar we need to adjust and we have to remove this page one also let's go to visual studio again first remove this h1 tag and for medium I am giving the 3 
and this is 9 3 plus 9 12 f6 now for the demo purpose I want to add some random text here uh, content here I'm pasting this content f6 now we will upload these files master page page 1 and page 2 on the remote server of GoDaddy through FileZilla FTP I am uploading these files I just open the FileZilla FTP to connect the remote site this is my local site and this is the remote site I am connecting now here is just connected remote site the folder is bootstrap tutorials http docs bootstrap tutorials and the files I want to upload the master page files page 1 and the files I want to upload master page page 1 and page 2 upload and now here the message all files have been successfully transferred refresh it now we will check on the remote site in the browser, I'm opening my website host and servers.com slash and the path is this is from local host from bootstrap tutorials slash page one dot aspx paste here enter and this is the output in my real website hostingservice.com now we'll check on different mobile devices the master page is responsive layout or not to check our website on different mobile devices we have a website called mobiletest.me click on it test your website in smartphone and tablet emulators now I want to check in Apple iPhone my website and the path is copy this path when I enter here go see here there is no horizontal bar options if I check in the landscape now we will check on a small other devices also Nokia Lumia and here also we don't have any horizontal bar options portrait and we will check in small device Samsung Galaxy and here also see and we will check in the Google also Google page speed mobile test my site think with Google click on it test how mobile friendly your site is Back. paste here test now see here Let's check the results now that we got the results from the Google score mobile friendliness 100 out of 100 mobile speed 85 out of 100 and desktop speed 95 out of 100 all good that's it thank you for watching my video if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video please subscribe my channel and catch you on my upcoming videos